John Africa on water and pollution. It was after the first major move confrontation, August 8, 1978, when John Africa dictated the judge's letter, 15 pages of outrage, not only of moves treatment by the government, but of corporate and state pollution of the natural world. His words came back to me in the aftermath of one of the biggest oil spills in history, the tens of thousands of barrels of oil boiling into the Gulf, the direct result of corporate greed and government collusion, deregulation in everything but name. In the very beginning of his letter, John Africa wrote, the courts are the tools of industrial plague, granting big business privilege to poison our earth, taking our water familiar and clean, and turning it into a potion that's poison. These words brought to mind the recent Supreme Court case which greatly lessened damages on Exxon for its role in the 1989 leak of the Exxon Valdez in Alaska, destroying shoreland that has still not recovered. Of water pollution generally, John Africa observed, industry has not only poisoned the source of life, it has created another multi-billion dollar industry to so-called clean it up. All the chemicals they put in the water to so-called purify it is a result of the same industry that poisoned the water, so that they not only make multi-billions for poisoning the water, but more multi-billions for so-called cleaning it up. In light of the great and continuing disaster in the Gulf of Mexico, John Africa could have written these words yesterday especially given the announcement that British Petroleum is now pumping tons of chemicals into the Gulf waters to clean up the oil, the effects of which no one can predict, for no one knows. This is a massive catastrophe, an experiment on the living that may have effects that we may come one day to rule. From Death Row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.